once again, it is my privilege and pleasure to come and spend these few moments of your time. And should we say, welcome back. I have been saying for a long time, a transition is coming. And now everyone is in it. Around the world, all things are in movement. Everything is playing out its patterns as the old dynamic shifts away. So I want to begin, shall we say, as if this is a new series. A long time ago, it is said that the Greeks, one in particular, maybe it is said to be the Pythagoras, but give me a lever long enough and I will shift the world. And humankind have used tools since the beginning of evolution, beginning of the manifestation, shall we say, what you call a caveman, the Nia, then you call man used the lever and recognized the necessity of what is a point of leverage, the fulcrum that is adjustable, that gives power to the leverage arm. And so at the modern time, you have adapted the tool and now everything is about leverage. Where is the fulcrum point? Where is the small stone that gives the power to change the world? And so you have begun to understand the powers that leverage gives. Do you understand what time to talking about? So, you call this mm, your mm, social medias, mm, the influencer, the fulcrum point mm, that mm, shifts, mm, mm, shall we say, mm, the world mm, to align with something else. And you have talked for so long about some sort of democracy, as if everyone has an equal vote. But is that ever the truth when the fulcrum point is the point of power? Everyone then has their own moment, their own turning point, their own fulcrum and their own lever. You can shift yourself and in doing so, shift your own universe. Enough for a conversation. Thank you. And thank you so much for being here with us today again. Today, I'd like to ask you what role the new children are playing this time in humanity. Shall we say this? Mm. 
the way in which technology mm, moves the world, mm, the way in which your technology mm, mm, connects everyone. Mm, the planet is then no longer individual nations, mm, but it is mm, group identity. And the new mm, mm, children, mm, the new ones mm, are mm, at the forefront. Mm, they are the leaders mm, in how the new technology mm, will, mm, shall we say, play out its mm, role. Mm. So, mm, in the old ways, it is individuals, mm, groups, and mm, shall we say physical communities. Mm. Now it is social communities. Mm. And not mm, as it is, mm, shall we say, the social media, mm, shall we say, the influencers, mm, but the social communities that are building. Mm. These mm, will bring about mm, a new order mm, to the old mm, structures. Does that mm, make some sort of sense? Yeah. Mm. Shall we say this? Mm, mm, you are engaged mm, in an old war. Mm, a war of survival of the old order. There is all of this talk of a new world order, but the new world order you talk about is the um, survival of the old world order. The order that is struck Shared, mm, around, mm, shall we say, mm, elite mm, and mm, the masses. Mm. But the new world order mm, is structured around, mm, mm, shall we say, the greater number, mm, the communities mm, that rise up mm, with their new found power, their found power of leverage. Does this follow? Yeah, yeah, it does. So can you tell me, we've talked before about the new children coming in around the year 2000 and then coming in um, more so in 2012 onwards. Can you say how roughly it's been in human terms since we've had a species upgrade like this before? It is difficult to mm, mm, talk about such mm, a pattern because mm, the mm, last time there was such, mm, shall we say, a reorganization. Mm, was when mm, physical manifestation took place. Mm. Prior to this, mm, shall we say, mm, one lived in the world of blueprint. Mm. That is mm, mm, such mm, that patterns mm, could be mm, mm, modified. Mm at a whim. So shall we say the old mm, mm, patterns of life mm, at a mm, level of mm, consciousness mm, were to organize, mm, shall we say, mm, the way in which mm, humankind would mm, mm, descend into the physical manifest structured world in such a way then that one of the final 
organizations was to create, shall we call it, a time frame. Then solid things exist beyond, shall we say, the imaginary world. One could imagine in dimensions, one can imagine structures, shall we say, with the three dimensional, so one can, shall we say, move through it in one's imagination, but it requires time to solidify it in a, a, a set pattern. You understand? So the last time that was what you often call the Atlantean mm. era, when first of all the planet was structured in such a way that it was temperate. It had certain barriers to hold it at a constant temperatures all over the planet's surface. And so all of it was fertile. Do you understand? Over time then, such movement is the solidness has so we say, burned away the original barriers that is, shall we call it the fields that quest the planet to hold such, such a structure. And so, shall we say then, time, becomes valid and shall we say temperature fluctuations between polar regions and the equatorial regions came slowly into existence. Do you follow what I mean? And there has been, shall we call it, shudderings where huge uh, freezes and mm, large mm, burns have occurred mm, as mm, all these things settle down. Mm. First of all, mm, the body mm, required mm, to be mm, set in place. Mm. In other words, mm, the original blueprints became mm, structured in terms of mm, discovery of the physical laws, mm, which of course mm, exist only within the time frames, mm, only within mm, the fields mm, set by time. Mm. Once you begin to mm, shift the nature of time, so too does the solid world dissolve away. So shall we say, one reached that low point, the point of maximum condensation. And having reached there, humankind is now evolving back into the nature of that Atlantean set in, shall we call it, the blueprint of imagination. Now you are recognizing that the whole of creation is structured by consciousness, set only in concrete terms by time. So 
shall we say, the new children are leading the way into imagination, using technology as a tool to demonstrate how this operates. So you understand your entire notion of computerized animations are leading the way into seeing that the whole nature is indeed algorithms, mathematical formulas that define consciousness into form. You've talked to us about how the new children have greater access or greater potential. Can you talk to us how so? For this exact reason, they are aligned to the visionary polarity. In other words, shall we say, the world is structured around models. Humankind and consciousness loves to make sense of experience by developing ideas or models that show experience. One such model commonly used is what you call the layers of the chakras, the spinning vortex that is a model, shall we say, of the energy patterns of fields. So, shall we say, the first basic one. And of course, one can say that all the problems in the physical world arise from the chakras that are dominant in the physical world. So the basic pattern of that everything sits upon, that makes it, shall we say, the physical world a hard form, is the base chakra aligned to finance and the money system, the system of ownership and resource. And I have talked so often about the problems aligned with ownership, the idea that have owned something. The second chakra is associated with creativity, regeneration, and of course, this sexual act. How one regenerates, how one creates. And the third pattern, the third problem creator is associated with power and control. These are the three problems in the world. And the three bottom chakras are reflected in the upper ones. So shall we say, those with power have the ability to open up the throat chakra. That is, they have the gift of speech. They can influence others. 
they can gain others' agreements and from those others they gain power over. The second chakra of creativity and sex and such things, devotion and so forth, is reflected in the imagination that is called the brow chakra, the one which imagines out, which visualizes that which will be manifest. So you understand that as the new children are focused upon the nature of creativity, their visualization and imagination is highly spoken to. This is why we have spoken of what you naturally see as a problem, the autism, is not truly there at all. It is that the visualization and imagination is connecting in a higher field than basic speech. It is one level, shall we say, higher than the throat. The it goes beyond the influence of, shall we say, talking to people and gaining their agreements. The visualization and imagination connects at a higher level. And that is why these beings can see truth. They are not swayed by the lower levels. They are not swayed by what people are saying. And of course, the solid world is reflected in, shall we say, the creative world, that of what is called consciousness or spirit. Duality. In the middle of all of this is the balancing moment of the heart chakra and its degree of love, forgiveness, and compassion for others. Does that shine some light on mm. what we are talking about? Yeah, very interesting. Thank you. Now, he started to experience multiple instances, particularly at night time, where he either hears voices in his head or finds, which he finds particularly disturbing. And uh, more often than not has Visual, visual hallucinations when he's trying to get to sleep, where he sees movement or things distorting, things looking um, really zoomed in or really zoomed out is how he explains it. Can you give us any insight about what might be going on for him and others like him? I, I want to say exactly hmm, the challenge, as I pointed out, hmm, for the new children, hmm, arriving in the early stages is learning to manage the imaginary and visual and creative, that is, that blueprint world. So, shall we say, when the um, physical body um, um, 
slips away towards sleep, then the voices of all the other communicators begin to come through. And one always attracts, one, if you like, tunes in to those voices that have a similar frequency. Do you understand? They are on, in the same field of existence. So when death comes in, it is hard, shall we say, to separate out oneself and where such voices lived. If then you allow the voice to become tied into fear, it will attract all the others with the same fears. So it is to learn to manage the inner frameworks. Also, shall we say, when the mind is trying to focus on, shall we say, the blueprint itself, it attempts, shall we say, as like a microscope, you are winding it up and down, it comes in and out of focus. One has to learn to manage that, not to be frightened of it, but to willingly tune it in, to willingly get it in, to focus, to recognize this is guidance. This is the nature of consciousness giving a connection to the blueprints that are available in consciousness at this time. Does that throw some light? Yeah, so when you say that hearing the voices is tapping into others at the same frequency, are they um, consciousness everywhere or is that alive human consciousness or is that those that he's oh, been born these with? Are, of course these are all the new, new children the new children the new children of course they are all looking for their team as it were mm. their team is those that resonate on the same frequencies that have the same interests you are moving into a world where people are attracted to similar interests mm -hmm. so much has to be let go of the old world in its dissolution is finding it harder and harder to find backups, that is to find something that is solid for it. So the new children are orientated by nature itself, by the evolutionary consciousness towards being realigned so that they are ready to, shall we say, engage in their interest. Whether that is music, whether that is the arts or the architecture, archaeology, many different ideas, but shall we say, they are finding their group. Hmm. So with that being said, obviously it's quite unsettling for him because he's not, he doesn't understand that concept yet. I want to say this. 
one has to tread very carefully because he is not alone and yet he is engaged with others who do not quite understand this movement, even though they have connection with their own children. They are seeing it in their own children, experiencing it, but it is foreign and frightening. Yeah. So however you engage with him on this, one has to be careful to make sure that he understands this is not commonly known yeah. Yeah. and that he is, shall we say, at the forefront. Yeah. He has born into this world and he will, over time, begin more and more to understand and to find others who also understand this. They may not be, shall we call, local, even though there are certainly others who are ready to find this local, that is. Sure. I think it is important to come up with a strategy. You understand that, that you begin by talking about how, how people are different and people have different qualities and different gifts. And Sometimes the gifts that they have are so different to others that they appear a little frightening in the beginning. Mm. But this gift he is developing has, is nothing to be frightened about. Okay. Because it is something that over time will give him a, a lead mm. that others will have to catch up on. Mm. You understand? So you are simply making it less frightening. And I would suggest that you ask him to listen to what the voices yeah. are saying. That he does not have to agree with every voice. That some voices say negative or frightening things and not to listen to those ones. But there are others that suggest really interesting thoughts. Mm. And those will take him into a world that is far more interesting than frightening. Do you understand that when he is trying to focus, not to try to stop the focusing, but to simply watch what is happening. Take notice when it is zooming in and zooming out and not to make anything of it. That when its time is right, it will come to rest on what is that he is supposed to see. Yeah. So you are making it normal. Yeah. That for him, it is a normal thing 
he will grow to like it. Hmm? Do you understand what I mean? That it will stabilize in time and he will find it the source of so much interest and gifts. Do we ever have to worry that they're going to lose touch of reality and spend more time in that space where they're communicating with other like-minded individuals all over the place in their the head. question the question is one of what is reality mm. in other words if you want to hold them into the old world of structure and time rather than allowing them to explore timelessness because as I have pointed out these are the leaders and you will find that you will be able to follow to explore with them but your shall we say your conscious system will only be upgraded yeah cannot be as vivid do you understand as subtle as their own but they will take you with them if you are willing mm -hmm. exciting so when he's communicating well when he's hearing other voices one time he said that it was in another language and he didn't understand the other language, but he understood what they were saying. This is, so this ability to communicate with others um, bridges That's, no boundaries of language. Of course. Yeah. Of course, not only that, but the other language is there to demonstrate that. Okay. That's, the, this is that consciousness is not based on distinctions and separations. Mm. It is based upon unity and unification and, shall we say, a greater service to others. Yeah. Yeah, and this is all linked in... Um, as you're talking about the blueprints and the frameworks, um, that's is that the same thing as what you've referred to before as the inner realms and the inner worlds? Of course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Shall we say the fields that are containers mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. as everything condenses into more and more solid form. Mm -hmm. Denser and denser form. These have been discussed yeah. over many millennia. Mm. It is not unknown material, mm. but how it applies in the present time is a very different, shall we call it, practicality. We've talked a lot about the new children over the last few years. Is there anything new that's coming along with the development of them and has, how they're getting a little bit older now? Is there new, new insights that we could share today? I think we have begun to address that in our last discussion. Mm. They are becoming more aware of the inner frameworks. Yeah. Mm. They have not been taught this. It is so they are learning to manage it more or less on their own terms. So, shall we say, it is more the dissolution of the old that builds the need and necessity of the new frameworks in order to organize 
Yeah. Human society. Mm -hmm. Societies are changing. The old mm, systems of mm, elitism and mm, mm, the fight to own, the fight to control, mm, and the fight, mm, shall we say, for mm, mm, the natural, mm, shall we say, to distort mm, the natural mm, polarities. Mm, mm, the second chakra of sexuality depends upon mm, polarity. We have said mm, so often that mm, everything relies on its paradox, mm, that mm, in order for the paradox to be mm, mm, seen or mm, experience, one has to have mm, polarity, one has to see mm, mm, and to balance the two opposites in terms of mm, power. Mm. Each one has its own mm, mm, separate power. Mm. And it is from this that mm, the law of attraction, magnetism mm, operates. Mm. So mm, as human beings begin mm, to shift their orientation from the, mm, the world of work, mm, it is mm, what is happening. Is there anything else that you'd like to share with us today? Mm, I think we have covered mm, mm, a very basic mm, framework mm, that mm, can be built upon and built upon and built upon. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. There is so much mm, mm, interconnected, shall we say, mm, when I say it is complex, mm, it is simple in its own mm, way, but mm, because everything fits together. It is like a jigsaw puzzle. Each piece has its own place to find, to be in. And as the pieces fit, so the whole picture becomes more and more evident. And then when you finish, the complexity of the whole, suddenly it is a simple picture, yeah. an integrated wholeness. Yeah, thank you. Is that enough for me today? That is, thank you so much for your time. Then once again, thank you for your work bringing all of this into being and shall we say the future is being opened up right at the moment and thank you and good afternoon thank you